Hey guys, so another exciting day here in Bali. Uh, yesterday I caught the biggest and best wave of my life. It was exhilarating to say the least. Um, you know, when I first started learning how to surf, that's just it's a struggle to, you know, just try to do what other surfers are doing and get on those waves and how do you catch them and then eventually you catch one but you're in the like just in the foam and then you eventually get that wave where you start like edging around the like along the wall of the wave and then um, eventually like you get onto better and better waves and I'll never forget the first time I, I rode like a decent sized wave just that feeling just Oh, I grew in my body for days just you know like I couldn't get that image out of my head and that excitement and it's one of those things like as a surfer you just you just keep chasing that that feeling again you know you, you want that big wave uh, and yesterday um, I had just a moment where I was just I was in the perfect spot now if you in a good surfing spot and the sets are coming in really well one of the worst things you can do is let a wave go go by with nobody on it and this wave just so happened to be passing well it was about to break exactly where i was i was perfectly in position and i hadn't even planned it and i just turned and i knew it was it, it was definitely my wave and i couldn't let it go past without getting on it and i paddled into it and it just grew bigger and bigger it was probably like one of the biggest sets of the day that came through and just like as i dropped i actually thought i was going to fall because it was so steep that <laughs> i just turned onto it and this like wall just appeared down the side and i just oh man what a feeling just like surfed along the edge and that feeling i just uh, again i'm just just reliving it every minute just i'm um, thinking about it it's, it was such a beautiful feeling and um yeah, for those out there that surf, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. And it just got me thinking today because when I was about 14 years old, my, my dad bought me a book and it was called The Surfer's Code by Sean Thompson, who's a world-renowned South African surfer. And in this book, um, it's called, uh, it's, uh, subheading is 12 Surf Lessons for Life. And it's a beautiful book. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down in the description. But he goes through 12 different... Um, lessons that he relates where he relates surfing to life and I, like I just went and actually looked them up again and I'll I just jotted down three to speak about um, the first one was I will take the drop with commitment now especially here in Bali that is huge because if you hesitate for a second you could end up on a reef and things could get pretty nasty um, so when you are paddling into a wave, you've got to keep on, like you can't hesitate. Once you're committed, you have to keep going for it. And um, Sean Thompson relates this to life, as um, I'm sure you can already understand. You know, in order to get the best out of things and, you know, to succeed, you need to truly focus. And um, focus being an abbreviation to follow one course until success. You know, stay committed, stay, stay persistent until you find success and i think that's just a very important lesson for so many people because a lot of people give up and they're like oh it never worked for me but they never actually tried hard enough so that was the first lesson i wrote down our uh, second one was i'll never fight a riptide <laughs> again just like self-explanatory but you're not going to fight the ocean as just as well as you're not going to fight a lot of um a lot of things in life and some things sometimes you just have to go with the flow and sometimes you have to realize that the universe is actually steering you into the direction you need. So just go with it. Don't fight it because you're going to end up being in a worse position than you are if you do. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Third one, I will always paddle back out. Another huge one for me because, you know, sometimes you do get smashed up by a wave and you're just exhausted and you don't think you can make it back to back line. But you need to remember to just always turn face back out and I think it was another one that I didn't write down here but um, he said always ride the wave in you know like don't just paddle back defeated and you know like oh this didn't work for me always paddle back out and always ride the wave in you know and there's going to be a lot of things in your life that knock you down but you know the true heroes are the ones that get back up and fight you know and 
if you do that, you'll find that it's easier to get that wave to ride back in because if you keep turning and facing those opportunities, that opportunity will find you and take you along the path you need to go and the path you need to grow. So yeah, that's my advice for you guys today. Um, just thought I'd share that with you riding on the high of yesterday. Just um, yeah, I'm going to try to get back out there as soon as I can just to fight, find that next wave and pedal back out there. But um, hope you guys are finding success and nothing less in your own lives and sending you much love, many blessings.